Have you noticed how many executive teams are throwing around phrases like digital first or digital by default? But let me be clear, you need to be the one that turns those phrases into reality. After years of talking about the importance of digital, some executive teams seem to finally be listening. This should be an exciting time for us. After all, that's what we've wanted for so long, executive support. But it could prove dangerous if we don't handle the situation well. When executive teams throw their support behind digital, the results are often, to be frank, fairly disappointing. Instead of getting a strong, clear direction about becoming a digital first organization, instead you get some kind of vague vision. A vision that makes it clear that digital is crucial to the organization's success, but fail to provide any real details. To some extent, this is because the executive team doesn't really understand digital. They don't know enough to, to really be able to make specific recommendations. They know enough that it's important, but that's about it. But that's not to say that executives are stupid. Executive teams are smart and experienced people, but they cannot, and to be honest, should not delve into the details of everyday operation. They should set the agenda, and others should turn that into a reality. They cannot understand the nuances of each and every employee's day-to-day -day job. It would be madness for them to tell others how they should go about doing that job. But this lack of clarity can leave organizations' digital vision in danger. One danger is that the digital first vision fades before it can really take root. Without a clear plan about its implementation, it'll never be anything more concrete than a vague mission statement. You know, something that people just ignore and get on with their day job. The second danger is that it gets hijacked. In many organizations, people have discovered that it's easier to get things done if they can attach their agenda to an executive directive. Before you know it, support for digital will have morphed, morphed into acquiring a new IT system or recruiting more members of staff for marketing. To prevent these kinds of disasters, we need to step up and take action. We can't wait for someone else to define the digital agenda. As soon as the executive offer any kind of vague support for digital, we need to be putting a plan together for its implementation. Now, you might be thinking that that's not your job, that you don't have the authority to propose company-wide changes. And to be honest, that's probably a fair comment. I'm not suggesting that you put together a company-wide plan. What I'm doing is proposing that you establish a plan of how their commitment to digital first will impact your role, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead of waiting for someone else to tell you how their vision impacts your role, take the initiative. Sit down and answer the following questions. How does the executive vision change the way you work? What barriers prevent you from making those changes? And what will you do to overcome those barriers? For example, you may conclude that as a digital professional, you need to provide training to other employees, training to help them adopt the digital first vision that the executive have introduced. But you might feel that this is not possible. You might think others will be resistant to this kind of training or that you just don't have the time to do it on top of your existing job. Instead of giving up at this point, you should propose how these barriers could be overcome. You might need executive support to make training mandatory, or you might need to stop working on other things to free up some of your time. That will recruit more members of staff. Whether you need extra resources or to drop some of your existing work, you need to be really clear about that. You need to outline as well what kind of return the company can expect for you making those kinds of changes, for investing in more resources or dropping certain work. Once you have a clear picture of how you want to implement the vision from the executive, you can go back to them or your direct line manager and present your plan and explain what's involved. It's then down to them to decide whether they want to go with your suggestions or not. Either way, you get to set the agenda. You help the executive understand what digital first means in practice, but you also set a precedent. You may even want to suggest that others across the organization are encouraged to complete the same exercise for their job, to define how the executive vision applies to them. You could offer to help these people do exactly that because you have the digital understanding to help them. 
You can help colleagues understand how Digital First might impact their role through one-to-one -one meetings or a series of workshops. The truth is I encounter teams all the time that are completely thrown when their executive announces their support with some kind of vague vision statement for digital. They feel resentful that management hasn't announced some kind of concrete plan, but really that's the wrong attitude. Instead of seeing this vagueness as a problem, they need to see it as an opportunity. An opportunity for you to bring about your expertise, bring your expertise to bear on that executive vision. A chance for you to shape the direction of your own role going forward and maybe even influence the direction of the whole company.